All right, guys, let's talk about networking, okay? Networking is when you get out of your comfort zone and go meet people that can help you get to the next level. Now, my name is Sawan Belcher. I'm a full-time real estate investor. I've been investing in real estate for the last five years, and I simply buy and sell property or buy and hold property uh, to simply make money in and using real estate. I will say that I make money easily now, okay? Some things just aren't that hard. Number one, because I've documented the process and I've also changed my circle of friends. This is a big key to having success and making more money or just having it come to you easily. Now say it with me, I'm a money magnet. Money comes to me easily, frequently, and in abundance, okay? When you start changing your circle, you'll understand that you'll have to do things like say affirmations often. And I would have never got into affirmations if I didn't change my circle of friends. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. Don't just start going to every meetup, going to every event, buying every software to start doing this. You need to be strategic because we're spending money to increase our ROI. OK, so you got to do it smart. So here's a couple of things that I did to change up my circle of friends in an efficient way to not spend so much money, but get the most amount of return at the same exact time. So number one, I, I made and set my standards for the group of friends that I wanted to be around, okay? So my standard was I wanted guys that was around my age, okay? I didn't wanna be learning from somebody that was 50 or 60 and I, and at the time I was in my 20s. I didn't want that. I wanted somebody that was in my same you know, age range so I could relate to them and have conversations and feel comfortable talking to them often. I also wanted to be in line with God. I wanted them to know who Jesus Christ was. I believe in faith, I have faith every day and that's important that you line in that particular way. And then I also wanted guys that was doing a certain financial number. You have to determine what that number is for you, but I wanted to be around guys that was making $250,000 a month or more, okay? So boom, I got my criteria. Now you need to go out and find your tribe. You need to go out and find who resonates with your standards, okay? Once you find your person, you need to verify before you pay, okay? So you can, in real estate, it's super easy to verify. Send me a HUD, okay? Uh, show me a rental property. Um, send me a testimonial from one of your sellers because there's so many people out here selling education and not doing the business. So you need to, you know, you need to trust, but verify. And once you've gotten that down, you need to actually commit and take action to go into one of their live events. Now, the one-on-one -on -one coaching and, and the courses, those are great for the information, but we're talking about networking. So you need to get out of the house and go network. What I did was I wanted to feel like a professional and you have to learn what feels good for you, okay? But I wanted to feel like a professional when I went to these events. And I didn't wanna be around a bunch of people not feeling like I belong. Okay, so that made me feel so you need to focus on, you know, getting ready, getting something, whatever that is, so you can feel a part that might be buying some Balenciagas, some khakis and a jean and a jean jacket. But you need to figure that out for yourself. You need to have I bought a manly journal at the time. So a manly journal, I'll put the link to the one that I actually provide for people. And it's the one that I use often. I have several of those now, but it's just a nice gray leather journal. I'll take it around with me all the time so I can take notes on. It's for the event so you can take notes and be prepared and be ready, you know, but it's also going to help you out later because you're going to use those notes later and you're going to, you know, be able to like express yourself in this journal. Uh, next, I made my goals for this event. Like, why am I attending this event? What am I trying to accomplish by attending this event? And who do I need to level up? Okay, who do you need to level up at the event? So my last event that I actually had that I hosted here in Greensboro, you know, one of my who I needed at the time was I was looking for students that I could help teach, make money and to bring me deals. Okay, I was looking for private money guys who didn't know how to find deals that would rather just give me their money at an interest rate so I can use to take down more property. Okay, and I was also looking for people that I could partner with. Okay, I was also looking 
looking for people that I could partner with to create future businesses. So those were the three people that I was looking for. And you need to know who you're looking for. So when you get out and have those conversations, you know who you need to spend more time with at the at the VIP dinner or or the lunches or the breaks that you guys have and the persons that ah oh, you're not really worth my time right now. Cause this event, even though it's two, three day event, it's gonna go by fast. Okay. And with there being in a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, a thousand people there, you don't have that much time. So you gotta get to the people that you need and hang around them, cling to them and get their phone number. This brings me to my next point. Do not pass out business cards. Don't pass out business cards. Don't collect business cards. Pull out your phone, pull out your phone, take a selfie and text that picture to that person. That's gonna do two things. That's gonna allow you to get their phone number. That's also gonna allow them to remember you when you text them. And then they'll also have your phone number if they need to connect with you. A lot of the times the business card goes into goes into the pocket, goes into the dry cleaners, and then they never end up with your phone number. And when they go to looking for you, they can't find you. Not good. I like to just pull out the phone, okay? Now, if you want a business card, I use a digital business card. It's a 10K card. I'll link mine below so you can see it. I'm telling you, these events are super powerful to meet the people that you need to level up with, okay? The only way to level up or well I, should, I shouldn't say the only way but one of the best ways to level up quickly is to use the people that you know to get the things that you want okay people can put you in the right room you know um, people can put you in front of their audience people can help you um, work you know you gotta leverage you gotta leverage people you gotta leverage relationships and it starts with getting uncomfortable and meeting those people that you don't know they don't know you you don't know them but you got to get out there and put and get uncomfortable and meet those people that you need for your business okay so if you found any value in this okay click the subscribe button better yet i want to see you at the next real estate money makers events we're in charlotte march 11th and 12th we will see you there let's go